Nature's beauty can captivate us with its own inspiring landscapes and magnificent wonders. But amidst this beauty lies a powerful force that demands a respect and understanding. Geological hazards. Prepare to be enthralled as we uncover the secrets hidden beneath the surface. Witness the raw power of nature unleashed as we unveil the forces that shape our planet. From towering cliffs to majestic mountains, every landscape holds its own tale of geological marvels and potential perils. Join us as we embark on a voyage of knowledge, delving deep into the intriguing world of landslides and sinkholes. These natural phenomena not only shape the environment around us, but also carry the potential danger to human lives. Buckle up and get ready as we embark on this enlightening expedition where understanding meets adventure and knowledge becomes our shield in the face of nature's awe-inspiring yet formidable power. Welcome to the world of geological hazards. into specific hazards, let us first understand what geological hazards are. Geological hazards refer to natural events or processes that can cause damage, destruction, or loss of life due to Earth's geological forces. These hazards can arise various geological factors, including tonic activity, erosion, or even human activities. Our first focus will be on landslide. A landslide occurs when a mass of rock, debris, or soil rapidly moves down a slope. They can be triggered by various factors such as heavy rainfalls, earthquakes, or human activities like constructions. Landslide can be incredibly destructive, affecting both natural landscape and human settlements. Landslide can take different forms depending on the movement and material involved. In this lesson, we will explore four common types of landslide. First is the creep landslide, slumping landslide, debris flow landslide, and rockfall landslide. Let's dive. Our first type of landslide is soil creep landslide. Soil creep is a slow, gradual movement of soil and rock debris downhill. It occurs due to the force of gravity acting on unstable slopes, causing particles to move incrementally over time. Soil creep can be observed through tilted trees, cracked foundations, and fences among other signs. While the movement is relatively slow, it can still pose a risk to infrastructure and property. Next, let's discuss slumping landslide. The slumping occurs when a mass of soil or rock moves as a single unit along a curved surface. This type of landslide typically occurs in areas with weak or saturated soils. Slumping is characterized by distinctive concave or spoon-shaped features and can be triggered by heavy rainfall, rapid snowmelt, or human activities that alter the slope stability. Debris flows are rapid, downhill movements of water-saturated soil, rocks, and other debris. They often occur in steep mountainous regions and are commonly triggered by intense rainfall or rapid snow melt. Debris flows can be extremely destructive as they can carry large boulders and debris, causing significant damage to structures and infrastructure in their Let's explore the rockfall landslide. Rockfall is the sudden and rapid movement of rocks or boulders down a steep slope or cliff face. It can be triggered by various factors such as weathering, erosion, seismic activity, or freeze-thaw cycles. Rockfall landslide pose a significant threat to human life and infrastructure, especially in areas with rocky cliffs or mountain sides. Understanding these different types of landslide is crucial for assessing and mitigating the risks associated with slope instability. By recognizing the warning signs and implementing proper preventive measures, 
we can help minimize the potential impact of landslides. Sinkholes are depressions or cavities that form on the Earth's surface due to the dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone or dolomite. The formation of sinkholes typically occurs in areas where these rocks are present and groundwater can flow through them. They can appear suddenly, swallowing up buildings, roads, or even entire landscapes. Now we will explore how sinkholes occur at delve into forming types cover collapse, cover subsidence, dissolution, and artificial sinkholes. Let's get started. Cover collapse sinkholes form when the roof of an underground cavity suddenly collapses, creating a sinkhole at the surface. They often appear as a deep, steep-sided holes. Cover collapse sinkholes can occur abruptly and pose a serious threat to structures and infrastructures. Let's discuss cover subsidence sinkholes. Cover subsidence sinkholes develop gradually over time as underlying soluble rock slowly dissolves. The surface gradually sinks or subsides, creating a depression. Cover subsidence sinkholes may not have as dramatic of an appearance of cover collapse sinkholes, but they can still cause damage. Moving on, we have dissolution sinkholes. Dissolution sinkholes are formed through the gradual dissolution of soluble rocks, such as limestone and acidic groundwater. Over time, the rock dissolves, creating underground channels and cavities. These sinkholes often appear as shallow depression or bowl-shaped feature on the surface. The artificial sinkhole. Artificial sinkholes are man-made and typically occur as a result of human activities, excavation, mining operation, or the extraction of groundwater can create voids underground leading to a sinkhole. These sinkholes can be unpredictable and pose risk to the structure and human safety. Understanding the cause and types of sinkholes is crucial for identifying the potential risks and taking appropriate preventive measures by recognizing the warning signs and implementing the proper land management strategies which can reduce the occurrence of the impact of the sea. That we understand the risks associated with landslides and sinkholes, it's essential to explore prevention and mitigation strategies to minimize their impact. Prevention and mitigation measures include slope stabilization techniques such as retaining walls or terracing to prevent landslides. Monitoring systems such as ground-based radar or inclinometers can also help detect slope movement. In the case of sinkholes, understanding the underlying geology and conducting thorough investigations before construction can minimize risk. Landslides and sinkholes are two significant geological hazards that can occur due to various natural and human factors. Understanding their formation, characteristics, and associated risk is crucial for protecting lives and minimizing damage. By implementing appropriate prevention and mitigation measures, we can strive for a safer and more resilient environment. Remember to stay informed, prepared, and vigilant. Together, we can make a difference in reducing the impact of these natural events.